Thank you for watching Morning Blend St. Louis. I'm your host, Michelle Russo, and I'm joined today by Les Landis, author of Getting to the Heart of Employee Engagement. Yes. Thank you for coming out today, Les. I'm glad to be here. Thanks Happy for having me. Happy to have you. Me. Yes. So tell us a little bit about the book. Well, so Getting to the Heart of Employee Engagement, the reason that I came up with that title is because there's so much stuff going on out there about employee engagement. I said, you know, we got to drill down to what really matters. Yes, because it's a buzzword and right it's now. It's a buzzword. That's exactly right. It's mm -hmm. been around for 20 years. You'd think the buzz would be over, but it's not <laughs> it's still yet. buzzing. It's still buzzing. <laughs> but there are two things what I mean by the heart. First of all, you really do have to get down to a, a few core things. And I'll talk a little bit about what those are. But the other piece is that there's really an emotional issue here. My definition of employee engagement is that it's an emotional connection that people have for their work or for their organization that gets them tuned in, turned on, and eager to go the extra mile. Mm -hmm. So that's really kind of where the other part of the heart connotation comes in. Okay, and what inspired you to write the book? I've been watching too many people struggle for so long not really getting tuned in and turned on and eager to go the extra mile. It's not good for the employees, it's not good for the company, and if you really do get the employee engagement uh, magic sauce right, it can have a huge impact on an organization. Oh, absolutely. And just for an individual themselves just to yep. be promoted and move further and be well respected in the yep. industry. Yep. It's huge. Absolutely. It's huge. Did you are you a business owner yourself? What I am. kind of you are. So that's why you knew. Yes, that's right. This uh, was needed in the in the workplace. Well, actually I was in corporate America for for quite a while. And, so there's not uh, a lot of engagement in the workplace there. Yeah, there often. wasn't nearly as much as I had wanted. They were mm -hmm. trying to make some progress in that area. Um, they uh, had done some quality improvement kinds of things, but when it came down to really full-blown employee engagement, they weren't getting all the way there. And so after a while, I decided that I was going to peel off, start my own consulting firm, which I've had now for over 20 years, Wow! and uh, work with a lot of other organizations, helping them with uh, the kinds of things that are really embedded in the uh, employee engagement work. And what would you say would guarantee a positive engagement in the workplace? Well, let me answer another, let me go another direction first. Sure. First of all, people say, what's the value of this stuff? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, there's a lot of interesting data out there. One of the things that uh, uh, the Gallup folks have found is that in the companies where they have high engagement indicator scores versus the companies that have lower engagement indicator scores, I mean, profitability is like 20% higher, productivity is 20% higher, quality defects are like almost 50% lower, um, absenteeism, all of the kinds of things mm -hmm. that nobody wants, all significantly lower. Right. So, if you're looking for a reason to do that, uh, if you're a manager and that doesn't get your blood racing, then you ain't got a pulse. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you really want to go down that path, the first thing you have to do is make sure you don't get caught in what I call the program trap. Exactly. Because the first thing people want to do is one-off activities. Let's have pizza parties, let's have picnics, let's have Employee of the Month awards, let's do workplace uh, uh, town hall meetings. Mm -hmm. A lot of that stuff is fine, but until we actually make fundamental changes in the systems and the processes that you work with every single day, you're never going to get really full-blown engagement. Right. And those things include stuff like what are you measuring, how are you measuring it, communication, how are you communicating, what are you rewarding, what are you recognizing, what kind of learning and development systems and processes do you have, and most importantly, is systematic continuous improvement. Mm -hmm. Because we are creatures of habit, and we will keep doing the same darn thing over and over again unless we've got a habit to break the habit exactly. of doing things over and over again the same way. Exactly, okay. Well, great. How would you say, would you say maybe the book would be specified better for the managers or just for the individual, just anybody looking to improve? Anybody who's stuff? got a passion for getting people tuned in, turned on, and eager to go the extra mile in the workplace. Uh, clearly, it's intended and written mostly for managers, and it's actually a business fable. It's like a novel. I really wanted to be a Hollywood screenwriter. <laughs> And uh, so I just decided that I was going to kind of capture that kind of quality in the story that I wrote here. So uh, anybody who likes reading that kind of stuff, and particularly in a story form, mm -hmm. I think will enjoy it. But the managers, the people who are the leaders in the organization, are the ones who are going to be able to take what's in here and I think uh, really make a substantive difference in the way people perform. And as a manager, what kind of pitfalls do they need to look out for? Yeah, you know, the main ones are exactly what I said a moment ago. Okay. Don't get caught in the uh, program trap. Mm -hmm. Don't get caught in these one-off activities. Don't believe that pizza parties, picnics, and town hall meetings and all these other kinds of things are going to get people fully engaged. It's what you do, 
in those daily processes around measurement, rewards and recognition, communication, learning and development, and continuous improvement. You've got to fundamentally alter the way that you approach those systems and processes. And I'm sure consistency is key. Amen, sister. Consistency is always yeah, the key. Absolutely. Well, thank you for stopping out today. Let's tell Pleasure. everyone Thanks where they so can much, find Michelle. the book. Where can we find well, it? Well, Amazon. Go Amazon? on Amazon. Okay. Yep, absolutely. Getting the heart of employee engagement. If people really are interested in having me sign it, uh huh. Any book then signings? Just I'll do a book signing. There just you tell go. them to either uh, get a hold of me at uh, my uh, at my office through Landis and Associates. Uh, Great.